<laughs> That's our mom's joke. Don't want to steal that from her. I'll let you know that. Hi, mom. It's a secret. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you for having us here. Uh, for those who I haven't met yet, my name is Ryan Grealis. Uh, I am John's half best man. Uh, along with Sam. Sam is my twin brother. We are biologically related. Um, uh, so I know you're all hungry, so we're going to try to get this short. Uh, when I first met John, I was visiting Jill at UH. Uh, I thought the trip was all about me, and when I met John wearing a Charlie Brown shirt, it was like a crop top for a little Charlie Brown shirt for Halloween. I really didn't think much of him. Uh, I did start to notice him a little bit more when the three of us uh, went down to the uh, went down to Boston for the 2013 Red Sox parade. Um, go Sox! Go Sox! Yeah. Uh, that's the, that's, that's the first, definitely not gonna be the last parade, am I right? Uh, as we were in the streets of downtown, seeing Jill and John together kind of caught me by surprise. Uh, I thought Jill and I were close enough that she would tell me about this guy she's been with for so long. Uh, I had no idea I was literally crashing on their first day. <laughs> like the first one. It was me. Uh, John did make me feel like a third wheel, however. Uh, we did get to touch Bill Russell's butt. Not the real Bill Russell, but statue. Uh, people in Boston weren't happy with us, as you remember. Uh, not happy one bit. No, <laughs> no, no. Uh, but we did have one hell of a time. I remember driving back to Keene, thinking about the next time I could see Jill and John together without even knowing that they weren't officially a couple yet. Phone and... <laughs> so, there's no doubt in my mind that John will always be in Jill's corner. He treats her in a way that all men should strive to do, even when Jill's being wicked particular. <laughs> like, like deciding where a decoration should go, or if her coffee is too hot or too cold, or if she's too thirsty and doesn't want to get her own water. <laughs> John will stop doing, stop doing whatever he's doing and do whatever will make Jill happy. He might be more tired than her, have colder coffee, or be almost dying of thirst. <laughs> Miraculously, he will stop, he will still put Jill's needs ahead of his own. Yeah. So, okay, but yeah, I'm going to I'm Sam again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, a couple years ago, one night, a couple of Jill's friends, and myself, and her too, went to P-Town. Uh, when it was time to go home, there was only one problem. Jill couldn't find her phone. I love my cousin to death, but she can be a little forgetful, especially late at night. Jill did really not want to leave P-Town without her phone. Understandably so. And despite all of our attempts uh, to cheer her up and make her happy again, I could, tell, I could still tell she was unhappy. About 20 minutes into the drive, Someone from the back yells, Kyle Jan. So I dialed his number, and I didn't even say hello. <laughs> I didn't even say hello to him. I just gave the phone right to Jill. So in his sleepy confusion, he's talking to Jill. And after a few choice words from Jill about the phone, I could tell Jill's miserable, frustrated mood changed to be a much calmer, happier, Overall, better for everyone in the car. <laughs> it was clear that in one of it was clear that in one of Jill's most upset, frustrating, disappointed moods, John was the only one to get through to her and make her happy again. I can I can I can only imagine how often Jill does this on a day. Or John does this on a day. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. John and Jill, they're both Jays, come on. Uh, so I can only imagine how often John does this for Jill. Through her rough days at work, drama with a friend, or whatever may bring her down, John will always be there for my cousin to lift her back up. That's nice. <laughs> now, I'll never forget the time Jill literally stopped to Shannon, and when Shannon finally got to tell her what was wrong, she said through her tears, John, John likes Ryan and Sam more than me. <laughs> True story, it happened. Well, it's your story, and deal with it, you did it. I didn't do it, you did it. Uh, now, I can't say that's true that he likes us more than you, 
I guess that ceremony before kind of proved something else. Uh, but I do want to tell you, Jill, that you have found, I just want to say thank you for giving us a phenomenal friend, a wonderful human being, and just an absolute rock who never cries at all. <laughs> absolutely sure that you have the most supportive, caring, loving partner in John. We can't wait, wait to be a part of your amazing future together. We love you both, but especially John Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal, John.